Hey, what's up, people? Michael here. If you want to partner your YouTube channel up, hit up the link in the description. Thank you, and stay tuned for the video coming up. Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up. Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrowfields gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. Off playing games, are you? I've lost Rosie. I left her and I can't remember where. Her stuffing needs changing today and I can't find her. Please help. She's a lovely little furry bear with a blue patch on her back. Let me hear some good reports about your behaviour and... Honestly, where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? <laughs> With some woman, I don't doubt. I run his house, bring up his children, 
And what do I get in return? Nothing. If you find him, let me know, won't you? Is your sister having a party for a bird? <gasps> you found Rosie! Thank you so much! Come on, Rosie. Let's change your stuffing. Well done, lad. Here's your reward for those good deeds. So, have you got enough money for a gift for Teresa? Brother, I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. Hello, lad. I'm a trader. I wander the world buying and selling wares, especially to fine folk like your good self. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. I'm afraid you seem to be short of funds, Sonny. Just three gold coins is all I ask, and your sister will love them. Remember, your father will give you money if he hears good reports about you. Listen, lad, could you do me a favour? I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Right, won't be long. My cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. Quick, while he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. Come on, let's go and break stuff. Are you just going to stand there like a lemon? But being good is so boring. Wouldn't you prefer to be smashing things? Come on! There's still time before he gets back! Oh, you're no fun at all!
fine. Have your stupid good deed, then. Excellent thanks, lad. You've done me a big favour. I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. Oh, what a strange little boy he is. Mm, but if you think that I'll turn a blind eye to your mischief, you're very wrong. Look, try to keep out of trouble, please, for me. So, have you got enough money for a gift for Teresa? You, you little ruffian. I've heard reports that you've been doing bad deeds. Violent conduct towards a person or persons without God's permission. That sort of behaviour is not acceptable. If you were older, you'd be apprehended and fined by the town guards. You need to decide if behaving like that is worth it, my young friend. I'll leave it at that for now. But think about what I've said. Ooh, you're lucky I've still got these sweets. Quickly, give me three gold pieces now and they're yours. Young sir, they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday from me now, won't you? That boy don't know the difference between right and wrong. to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. Wait, there's something wrong. Bandits! <sighs> It's really happening. They're here. You've got to hide. <gasps> got one. Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood-red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy, and soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior, and fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. 
through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone.